Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rico Richardson. The goal of this channel is to help you guys edit your photos and videos in a professional way, but for free. And sometimes when you edit a video, you encounter some problems like that stupid stuttering and it can annoy you, but DaVinci has a uh, problem solving solution for that. And today I'm going to show you guys what that is. And the first thing that we're going to do is I've put these three clips on my timeline already. I've already imported them. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link to the video up here, which will show you the basics of DaVinci Resolve to help you get started. But for now, like I said, I've already put them here. What we're going to do is we're going to select all three clips, hit the right mouse button. And then the first thing we're going to do is hit the generate optimized media. Another way to do this is by importing all the video files that you're going to use. Then select all of them, hit the right mouse button, and then click Generate Optimized Media before you're importing them in your timeline. So let me do that real quick. Generate Optimized Media. And now we see a prompt message, which will show us how long it will take for these to render. And once that's done, the playback of these clips will be a lot smoother. Now let's say you're done with the project and you want to get rid of the generated optimized media. You can go to Playback and then Delete Optimized Media. And you'll get a prompt message saying all optimized media for the current project will be deleted. Do you want to delete the optimized media? And then pick yes. I'm going to pick no because I'm going to show you guys the second way how to make playback even smoother. And the second thing to make playback even smoother is by going to the playback, then go to render cache and then pick smart. And then what you need to do is you need to select all three clips again, hit the right mouse button and click render cache color output. And if we click that, we will see blue bars and then you will see it advancing. And that means that there is now a render cache of this video file. Hey guys, Rico from the future here. I'm an idiot because while I'm editing this video, something came up to mind that if you use the render cache and you won't see the red bars, that has to do with the fact that you don't use the right mouse button and then render cache color output. But the thing is that usually when you start to color grade your footage, so you're adding a color correction or a color grade, things will start to slow down again in the playback. And that's when you go to the clip, hit the right mouse button and then click the render cache color output. So Please keep that in mind. I'm sorry for uh, barging in on this video like this, but let's continue. If you've got questions about this, let me know in the comment section down below. If you've got comments about this as well, uh, let's move on. So let's go back to the start and let's play it again. Everything is smooth. It already was because I've got a very fast computer, but let's say everything was stuttering. Now it should be a lot smoother. And if it's not, we got one more thing to do, which is go to the playback and then hit proxy mode and then check half resolution or quarter resolution, whatever you need. So I'm going to put this on half and that will make sure that you're editing the files in a half resolution, but your final output will always be the full HD or the 4K or whatever you're doing. This is just to make editing a little bit smoother for you. And those were three easy ways to optimize your media. So the first thing is generate optimized media. The second thing is render cache and the third thing is using a proxy either on half or a quarter and if that doesn't help you i'm pretty sure you need a new computer don't forget though that the studio version is very gpu based and the free version is very cpu based so that might be a difference as well for this week that's it i've got one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button consider subscribing if you haven't already Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!